Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for this new episode of KOS. Today, uh, I'm going to show you how to use action groups in KOS to uh, activate your uh, solar panels and to uh, deploy the uh, antennas or the fairing. And uh, I have a light here, and one here, and one light here, so you can use action group to uh, activate your lights too and uh, for this you can see here in the action uh, menus you have some action groups here you have the chair and the gear uh, we don't have any gear here uh, the lights SES, SAS, brakes and aborts uh, the lights are automatically when you uh, when you add a light in your craft the part is automatically uh, automatically added here in the uh, group action so this is uh, great and uh, you see here there is no uh, mention of uh, solar panels or uh, the fairing or the antenna so uh, we we can add uh, some of these in the uh, custom action group uh, for example I can add here the fairing, I want to deploy the fairing with the action group 1 and I want to uh, deploy the uh, antenna, extend the antennas with uh, the action group 2 uh, because they are, they are built uh, with a symmetric action I think I, I never do that, <laughs> I don't have to okay, so, um, okay, and uh, I can do that with the uh, solar panels, but I won't, and I will explain you uh, to you why I do not do that. Okay, so uh, back to the script here. Um, first of all, we uh, in last episode we saw that uh, my rocket is not uh, built to reach a hundred kilometers of apoapsis. It could, but uh, it better to set for example uh, 80 kilometers and I want to change something instead of uh, having here the wane uh, when then and the wait until at the end here um, I, I want to be sure that my apoapsis is uh, 80,000 kilometers so I want here to <coughs> wait until the apoapsis uh, is uh, greater than the number I want uh, so here I want the 80 kilometers and uh, here I want to wait uh, not wait until but I want when my altitude is greater than uh, the uh, body's atmosphere heights so ship body at ATM heights uh, um, plus 500s and then when uh, my ship uh, reaches space uh, I don't want that anymore uh, what I want is to activate my action groups so for lights there is a simple instruction is light on these instructions exist with uh, brakes you can say brakes on or off okay here I can say uh, lights off for example but I will say so lights on it, it exists to uh, brakes for uh, gear you can say gear, gear on or gear off and abort you can have abort on abort off okay those instructions are the same instructions that here in the action uh, menu uh, gear lights brakes and abort you can set the SC RCS and ACS to uh, on or off so you can have ACS, RCS on or off uh, here we use SAS off and at the end of the script SAS on this is exactly the same uh, thing okay um, and we can uh, also use the action group so we can say AG1 for action group 1 on or off and we can uh, uh, we can use that from AG1 through 
8080 okay so i put the uh fairing on ng1 and the uh uh, antennas on HG2 and I didn't do that with solos because in KOS so those are the action group uh, I will delete uh, delete all of this later but just to show you so these are the action groups so you have all of these and the AG uh, 1 to uh, 210 but there is also um, what uh, KOS documentation called a pseudo action groups that means that there there are action groups but uh, they don't exist in ksp uh, in the action menu so you have a lot of things you have shoots shoots on shoots off uh, it's always on or off okay in this case uh, sh shoots uh, uh, off doesn't uh, do anything because uh, once your shoots are deployed <laughs> you can um, you can shoot off. Uh, you, ha you have shoot safe, okay, on off. Um, you have um, the panels for uh, the solar panels, the radiators. If you have a radiators in your uh, in your craft, the ladders, ladders, the base that opens uh, a base. On it opens the base. Off it closes closes the base uh, you can deploy drills on off and then you can activate uh, the drills on off too uh, you can do that with fuel cells on off and for uh, the uh, ISRU so the on off and the intakes on off and that's it that means that uh, I don't know why, but, but there is no mention of antennas in the pseudo action groups, no fairing. So for antennas and fairing, the uh, one way to do that is to activate action group. Um, okay, so for this, so I have to light on, uh, I need so panels on, and then I need the AG1 and the AG2 on. I don't need the other things. There is a big difference between the action groups and the pseudo action groups. In the action groups, you you can configure the action groups uh, here. So, for example, for the lights, I can uh, add more lights or uh, delete some lights uh, from that action group. So, when in my uh, script here, I go to uh, I write lights on. Um, only the lights uh, which are in the action group uh, are set to on. Okay, here because I can't choose uh, which panels or which radiators panels on will activate will deploy all the panels, uh, the solar panels you have in your craft, all of them. Uh, so if you are uh, if you have some solar panels uh, inside your fairing. Uh, they will be deployed too, so you must be very careful. And that's why this is not uh, the way I uh, deploy my panels. I use another method, but it's not for today. <laughs> I will explain you that in uh, some other uh, video. Uh, so for today, we just use panels on and off because that can be very useful to have that, uh, that thing. So. Here, all your shoots are uh, deployed. Uh, based on opens opens all the doors of all uh, your uh, bases. So um, those pseudo action groups are very useful, but you can't configure them um, at this the same way you configure the uh, normal action groups. Okay. So this is for uh, the action groups and pseudo action groups. So for my scripts, I need lights on, I need solar panel, and I need to deploy the fairing and the uh, antenna. So I like to write some um, uh, function. For example, deploy panels, uh, extend antennas, and uh, deploy fairing. 
So when my uh, ship reaches the uh, the space plus 500 meters, I want to uh, I want lights on and I want to deploy panels, antennas, and fairings. So now I just have to write those functions here. So uh, I will do that in the end of my script, but you can do that in another file, and then you can uh, run path that file. Uh, let me see the end of my program. I need to change uh, things here. Uh, here I prefer to uh, lock throttle to zero and then wait zero and then unlock steering, SAS on, wait zero, tac, 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 end of program. Okay, that's good. So here I want to uh, write my function deploy uh, panels. Oops. Like this. Uh, this is a simple one because I can use directly panels on. And I can print, for example, uh, panels deployed. And the same for uh, the antennas and the fairing. So deploy antennas. And here, uh, antennas were in AG2 uh, action group, so on and uh, antennas deploy and here deploys uh, fairing uh, here it was extend antennas and the fairings was on ag1 fairing deployed okay uh, extend it okay uh, okay, that was it. Right. Uh, just to show you uh, a little thing, just for fun. Uh, instead of print some uh, information in the terminal, I can uh, add a notification on my screen. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, you will see when I test this, the the script. Um, here, I can use the uh, instruction, the function, H U D text and need a lot of things. Um, I want to uh, print on screen, not on the terminal. I want to uh, to, uh, to have a sort of, not a pop-up, but uh, I want to, uh, I want an information on screen, antennas extended. You, you, <laughs> you will see what I want to say. Um, for, uh, for example, uh, four seconds. And um, I want it to be written uh, don't know, uh, on the uh, center of my screen and the upper center of my screen. Uh, the size uh, it's uh, don't know, uh, 20. Uh, the color uh, yellow, let's say yellow, and uh, there is a last um, parameter, is a boolean parameter, true or false. And if I write true, the information will be written in the uh, terminal too. Um, so let me explain that. The add text here. The first uh, parameter is the message you want to be printed uh, on your screen. The second argument is uh, a delay and seconds. Uh, that means you want to uh, print your message during four seconds. The third parameter is the style of your uh, message. You have uh, for the style you have one, and one is upper left. Okay. You have uh, two. It's uh, upper center. Three is upper right and uh, 4 is lower center. Um, so this is the style, then you have the color. Okay, green, blue, yellow. You can set your color with the uh, RGB uh, nomenclature. Uh, we show you that. And then you have the echo. Echo, true or false. True means that um, uh, do that like this, okay? And uh, 
true means that you write your uh, your print your message in the terminal too. Okay, uh, I can do the same with the panels. For example, here, let's do that. Panels deployed, and uh, to change, I can write it uh, in the upper left uh, in blue. Okay, and. Uh, uh, maybe I, I don't remember if 20 is a big size or not, let's say 30. And uh, the same for uh, the fairings. Uh, here I only have one fairing, so the fairing, uh, fairing deployed, uh, let's say 4 seconds and uh, uh, 4, lower center. And uh, I want to uh, say, I don't know, maybe 10. And to show you, you can uh, set the RGB color. Of, it's a number between 0% or and 100%. So it's a number between 0 and 1. OK, so uh, the first number is for red. The second number is for green. And the third number is for blue. So for example, here, 1, 1, 0 0.5. OK, it will be a, a yellowish color. Okay, and I think this is it. Okay, so uh, this video was all just about the action group, and uh, this is very easy to activate an action group. You just have to set this action group on or off. Okay, so um, go to the uh, start of your uh, the, at the beginning of the the video if you want to see all the action groups and. Uh, you at the, after that you can use the action groups you want so I all often use lights and uh, I don't use AG1 panels or AG2 I prefer to use another method but this is for another video okay so this is it okay just before the launch I changed a little my script because I, I have noticed that uh, some things can going wrong for example here I prefer to add, add the weight zero. That that means that I can uh, wait. Uh, I can do that each physics tick. I prefer that. It's not monetary. I can do that in uh, one physics tick. But it's better uh, if I do that. And I can also be more than that. I can say okay, uh, wait 0 0.5 seconds if I want to be sure. Uh, the other problem here is that I'm shutting down the the program, but uh, the program shuts down if uh, my um, apoapsis is greater than 80,000 uh, uh, meters. But I don't want my program to be shutting down, shut down if uh, this is uh, still to happen. Okay, so here I just want to. Uh, delete that. Okay, we are about to reach space. It is by that my apoapsis is uh, 71 kilometers. Okay, we are in space. Waiting for deployment. You see, funnels, antennas. And the fairing deployed is, was written in little. Okay, and the lights are on. And you see here, because I uh, uh, write uh, true for the uh, echo, uh, so uh, the information I had in my uh, screen also are printed here in the uh, uh, in the terminal. Okay, it was uh, very quick, so you can't uh, go back to that moment in the video and uh, look at uh, this moment again. Uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoy the uh, action groups and I see you soon for the next video. Bye bye.